right. Here we go, guys. Another test. And this time, it's the Tamiya TS83 and the Tamiya TS84 metallic gold, metallic silver. Yes, the $20 spray paint from Tamiya. This is the only two in the lineup that are 20 bucks. And uh, let me verify that with you guys right here on my tablet. Uh, this is Galactic Toys. I shop there. And it's the same at all the websites, so I just pulled one up. And there it is, TS84, $21.95. This is 22 I didn't pay that much. I bought it at my local place. And uh, that's it. And the silver's the same thing. $21.90, $22. Bucks. Now, basically, I think it's all clad in a, in a spray can. I believe... I, I just grabbed it because I knew it was expensive. Somebody couldn't even answer me why at the store until I did some research. And then uh, I think it's pretty much all clad in the can. And this confirms it for me. Let's see. If, let me take... Let's open these up on camera, I guess. Yeah, because they made sure that the uh, label on how to use the stuff is uh, in plain sight. Because it's not like your typical, obviously, at the price, to me, a spray paint. Um, and there it is. I'll pull it up so you guys can see it. TS-14 black undercoat is required. All right. So it's requiring a black undercoat as if we were shooting uh, all clads and all clad chromes over a black. So that's what I'm, uh, that's why I think, you know, through some research and their own instructions, it's pretty much a metalizer. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I keep moving this around. The undercoat, uh, black undercoat for best results. If applied directly to plastic surface, the finish may not be smooth and the paint may lift off when masked. All right? Do not apply a clear coat over this paint. Take care when applying masks to avoid. So it, uh, my research tells me it's going to dry a long time. You know, I'd give it 72 hours before you mask it. But I understand it, it hardens pretty good. But... Between the, it's obvious now. Black undercoat and no gloss coat tells you it's a metalizer. It's like their chrome. Now you can put uh, coating on some of their other stuff, all clad. So I don't know why it doesn't have you do this because this isn't a chrome. It's it's, it's metallic silver. It's probably going to come out like a pure aluminum looking silver, like uh, the all clads do. But anyway, what I did was, um, it specifies TS14. It specifies it right there. So I have it. You know, and I sprayed two TS14s. Okay, but what I did was I also have semi gloss black from Tamiya TS29. Semi gloss black, and I did that. Let me get some. There you go. Look at that, and that's semi gloss. So, yeah, we'll see if, that, if it makes a difference. You know, now what I did was I didn't use. Hold on, let me reach for it. I keep my black base always in reach. Um, all clad black base. Uh, I didn't because I followed. I, I always like to follow them directly, and then maybe I'll do an offshoot while I'm painting it. But for these, because they're spray cans, and because the people who would buy this are people who don't have an airbrush, who don't want airbrush, they, they don't like the airbrush, and they don't have many options, particularly in the all clad range of colors. Those are only airbrush. So what do you do? So even though they're expensive, somebody might be willing to get a can or two of this. And put the investment in instead of dropping in uh, for an air booth and whatever else you would need, a compressor for uh, an airbrush. So what that's for that reason alone, I didn't use the uh, this black base. I wanted to use what they recommended. I am offshooting a little bit by doing the dull black, but it's still their paint and it's still a spray can. So I kept it all in the spray can family and with them, so uh, as to follow it closely as to how I think the people who are interested in this product will be using it. So um, that's it. I've had these dry uh, a, a day or two because I knew the paints were coming. So these are all set to go. We're going to go over the booth. We're going to do one of each for each color. We'll let it dry, and we'll see you back here. But for now, off to the booth, and let's check this stuff out. All right, guys, we're at the booth. I'll do gold first. Um, I soaked it in warm water about a minute. Wiped it off good with a paper towel, make sure she's dry, shake it up well, I've been shaking it, and 
and uh, we got some spoons here. And let's go. We're going to go very light at first, so let's see what we get. Yeah, it goes on. It goes on just like uh, all clad, if I, if, as if I was airbrushing it. Now, like I said, I want to try it on a dull, on their semi-gloss, so let's try that. I'm going to let this dry a few seconds, so I'm going to go to this one. Alright. And as an experiment, this is metallic, I think this is metallic black. So it's a gloss black from Tamiya. I don't think it'll have a bunch of a difference. I'll show you back at the bench, TS40 metallic black. We tested it. So um, let's try that too, just for the hell of it. All right, let that sit. We'll go back to these. This is the basic black one. All right. And the next coat will make it the last. starting to come through. Actually looks pretty good. It, it looks pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna let this sit. I checked it out. I, you can't do light coats. It's gotta, it's gotta fully cover in several. It's not like airbrushing it where you do a real light coat on the all clad. So let's finish these up. Alright guys, I'll let these dry and I'll move on to the silver. Alright guys, we are back with the TS83 silver. And uh, I'm going to do the same, a little different. I'm going to go gloss black, that metallic black. And I'm going to use this. This is, uh, I guess this is their gunmetal from Tamiya. Just curious how it looks. You know, I had a few of these already sampled. So I'm going to just use one of those Let's see how it matches up with the silver. I dumped it in the hot water once again, dried it off, and uh, let's do it. I'm trying to wipe these spoons off as best I can before we start because I don't have the airbrush to do it for me. Yeah, it goes on just like all clad. The first coat goes on heavy, but that's because it's a spray can. There's nothing I can do about it, you know? All right, here's the experiment. Let's try the metallic uh, gunmetal for a base. Probably look fine because it's silver anyway. Oh, this looks great. This one on. Wow, that looks great. All right. Almost looks like chrome at this point. I know it's not chrome. I know it isn't. So I would like to leave it like this, but you can't. It's all splotchy and stuff because it's a spray can. It's not the same as a light coat on an airbrush or chrome paint, you know. Try and stay off of the spoon and then come across it. Or your, you know, I'm saying spoon, but whatever it is you, you guys are painting. It goes on good. Doesn't even smell that bad, so. So far, so good. All right, let's go in for the final coat. It's looking pretty good. It's got a really nice look to it. Again, spray paints always dry quite differently than their initial coating. That looks great. I might leave this one alone. This one looks good. So it, uh, nah, it's, it's a little splotchy. Keep them all the same. That's the goal. Is uh, we want to make sure they all um, have the same coating, you know. All right, and that is it. 
They look good. We'll let them dry. And we'll see you back at the bench. These look good. Um, initial looks good. I was worried that it looked too much like their own product till I put it next to it. And uh, you'll see back at the bench what it is I'm talking about. All right, guys. We'll see you back at the bench. And compare these two. All right, guys. Back at the bench with the results. I have mixed feelings about this stuff. And um, we're going to go over it now. I'll try and be quick because really it's only two colors. But we're going to compare it to other stuff because that's the point of this to see how it compares to other cheaper uh, similar products uh, first of all um, I have let me show you something I keep all of my prepared spoons because I, I get the I spray primer I have gray ones over there I got white ones and um, I keep them prepped so they're ready when I go to do a demo and I didn't realize uh, next to this I had a bin of spoons I sprayed with this uh, Model Master, which is an enamel, but um, I grabbed one of them and I could tell because uh, I could tell the spoon the way it sprays. I knew which spoon it was. But anyway, this is what happens. <laughs> um, it, it, it reacted to anything other than Tamiya as its base. Can you see this? So do not use anything other than uh, what they recommend. And they recommend, it should say, only use this because it just chipped and peeled right off look at that I find odd because these spoons have been drying for a long time usually you can coat but it's usually enamels lacquers you know in the com combination of them is usually where you get your troubles acrylics it's a different story it's, it's not as harsh look at that so don't make sure you don't use any old paint it's a good thing I grabbed this by accident because I wouldn't have known this to give you guys the warning because I, I, you know, I was just using these. Um, but that's what happened. All right, with the gold, uh, let's see. Here's the basic one. This is over the black, the shine, uh, regular black. That's what this one is, and uh, it looks nice. It it looks good. It looks a little. I'm trying to buff it up a little bit here. It looks a little better on camera, probably, than it does here, than in person. Now, you could say, eh, it just looks like gold, right? It just looks like gold. So, to me, a gold. This is metallic. This is the one we just did. All right, this is the one I did the other day, the super shootout of all the metallic uh, spray cans from Tamiya. This is that gold. It's just a gaudy-looking, brassy kind of basic gold. And there... There's your difference. See, this is more of that all claddy, true metal looking material. Not outstanding, but a, a big difference from this. I mean, it's a big difference. Now, we can get closer with this titanium gold. Check that out. All right. Even though still this still looks more like a, you know the color you would paint a car. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's nice. And um, if you're doing a Gundam or, or, or inner frame, uh, I don't know. I would stick with this at 7 bucks. But it is different. I mean, it's different. It's a plated metal look. This is more of a color. But I wanted to compare them, you know, particularly to their regular gold. Because this is gold and this is gold. And, um, you know. You can see it there. This looks like a plating. This looks like a color. All right. Now this is Tamiya's. Tamiya, I keep going. Uh, hold on. No, all clad. This is all clad. Burnt, a pale burnt metal. And this is aqua glossed. We aqua glossed it. So I mean, it's not, it's not the same. I don't have, I don't have a gold, uh, all clad to compare it to. I'm trying to get something close. You know, this is all clads pale gold. This is as close as I get. I don't have a pure gold. I have a, this pale gold. But you can see that's the look. It's a plated looking metal. This is just lighter. So this is not that bad. Now, the price, I, I don't know. But this is the look they, they have achieved. All right, now let's look at it. This is over uh, TS-40 base. This is my... Uh, uh, um, the metallic, uh, the gunmetal. This is the gunmetal base. All right. I'll show you the base right now. Hold on, guys. I got the can right over here. 
Metallic black, I meant. Metallic black. All right, so it's similar. No big difference. So that's the similar. Now here's where we lose it. This is over the semi-gloss base that I wanted to try. And uh, it just came out completely dull, and uh, it's got a texture to it. I wish you could see it. You probably can. Oh, you can see a little bit there. A little bit. It's just, it's not good. You can really see it here, how it just didn't work. So, it's the gloss black bases for these for sure. Make sure you use the proper brand. I just showed you what happened if you don't. But it is nice. It is nice. I don't know, the $20 nice. It's much nicer than their regular gold. It's just, this is just gaudy looking. It's hard to explain. You know, but this, this does look decent. All right. That was the gold. On to the silver. Here it is, the silver over the black, the shiny black base. Not bad, pretty good. This is it over the TS-38. This is uh, gunmetal. No difference. And this is it over the semi-gloss black base. This has a much duller look. It, it actually, yeah, there you go, you can see it. It, it actually reflected the base color, whereas this one just came out a whole different texture. I'm not quite sure why. Is it? So, this looks more of an aluminum over the semi-gloss base. These are identical. You know, it's a little bit lighter, this one, I would say. If you can see it in person, it's a little lighter, but it has the same texture. And there you go. Now, let's compare it. Ready? Here we go. Gloss aluminum. TS-17. I mean, it's not silver, but it's close, right? Again, more of a color, more of a plating. It's not bad. Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to get to their regular paints first. Sorry, guys. Okay, TS-30, silver leaf. This is their regular silver. Can you see it? It's the, almost the same with a shine. There it is with, on the semi-gloss base. It's almost identical. But this is TS-30 Silver Leaf, and this is the expensive TS-83. You know, this looks more like an aluminum still. This has, still has that plated semi, not quite chrome shine, but it's got that shine to it, the plated look. All right. Again, these are $7 cans, these. This is 20. You got to keep that in mind. This is AS12, another cheap can, but this is that um, uh, bare metal silver in their aircraft color lineup that I did. If you didn't go watch my other video, you'll you'll see uh, you see the whole shootout. But again, it's a dull, you know, almost aluminum colored, whereas this still has that plating to it, you know. It doesn't look silver. This looks plated, which is the look they were trying to achieve. And I think they got it. However, check this out. Here it is with the all-clad comparisons, all right? What do we have here? Dear aluminum over gloss black. Just about there, guys. Look at that. Just about there. This is the all-clad. This is the, to me, in the spray can. All right, let's see what else we got. Duralume over gray primer. This is over gray primer. It doesn't have the same shine. But it's the same tone. And this is Duralume over gray gloss gloss gray base. Now we're getting closer. Again, you need I mean you need an airbrush, you need everything else to do all clad. It's not a true direct comparison. I'm just comparing the colors. However, check this out. This is aluminum metalizer. Um Non-buffing right here, right here, this one from Model Master. I did the test on these, all right? It doesn't have the shine, and this is the buffing. Almost the same, just about there. And these are like four bucks a jar. Again, you need an airbrush. However, coming up sometime next week, I got them in a can. And I don't even want to tell you what I paid for these because I think they're being discontinued. I might have paid four bucks for these things. I, I got to ask my buddy at the hobby shop. 
and he's got a bunch. You're trying to get rid of them. You should be guys should be able to find them. Who knows if they're any good? We're going to find out. But look, we're going to be testing those in the can, which is basically these in a spray can. So be on the lookout for that test. But uh, there you have it. That's my shootout uh, between the two colors. Personally, yeah, they're pretty good. I don't know about 20 bucks, but if it's your only route to getting a plated looking, this is the both of them over the black. If, if you're trying to get a, a plated look without an airbrush, because you don't want to buy the compressor, the airbrush, the paints, um, it's a good route. Unfortunately, there's not a ton of colors. Um, we will be testing these, so maybe grouping all of this together, you have a shot, you know, at getting a full lineup in a spray can. But um, that's it. Uh, they're pretty good. They're, they're pretty good. Uh, I, I do like them. Would I, would I pay that? It's hard for me to say yes or no because I use airbrushes. I love my airbrush. So I, I, uh, it's, that's so embedded in me that I would say no. But if you don't have an airbrush at all and you just want to do spray cans, that's why I got a ton of spray can tests coming up too so I can uh, share with the two audiences that watch these videos. You know, but that's it. I, I, I do like them. The price is, t is tough to justify. Um, but they work. Be sure to place them both over a this can. So your investment is going to be two cans. You're lucky for this. This one's only about seven bucks. And this is hard to find, by the way. Because, uh, it's tough to get anything from Japan right now. I had to go nuts trying to find this can to test this out with. I had to buy it online or on eBay or somewhere. I couldn't even find it locally from three different stores. So, but you're going to need that to do it also. Now, on another note, coming up, I'm not going to tell you what brand this is. But check this carbon paint out. Look at this. Is that beautiful? Look at that. This test is coming sometime next week. I'm working on it now. It's not a hobby paint at all. And it works. And you guys are going to be really happy when you see this. Because I am. I am. Look at that. So that's a... This is called carbon. And um, that is coming up soon. And this is not a paint at all. I'll tell you what this is later. Is that beautiful or what? So I'm experimenting on stuff that's dirt cheap, not real paints for the hobby, and um, I'm getting good results. So i got some alternative stuff coming up for you guys, and uh, I hope you keep watching. But uh, that's the video today. The Tamiya TS-84 and TS-83 plated metals in the spray can. Not cheap, but the results were good. Um, and that's all for now. Please like the video. Subscribe below if you haven't already. We have a ton more to come. I even have another one coming up before the weekend. And I think it's going to be these AK Extreme Metals. I'm working on these right now, including a new black base. I'm going to be testing of this. And, uh, and that's it. Thanks, guys. And you guys have a great, great day.